and welcome to Holy Rosary Academy. I'm Amy and a fifth grader here at Holy Rosary. I'm broadcasting from the WHRA studio in the school library with a special report on our school. Today, we're going inside Holy Rosary Academy, providing you a glimpse at the programs at this outstanding Catholic elementary school, which has been part of the Donaldson area and the Nashville educational landscape since 1954. Providing reports from the classrooms of Holy Rosary is our reporter and my classmate, Kaysen. Kaysen, tell us where you are and what is happening. Thank you, Amy. You can tell by the sound that I'm in one of the vibrant classrooms at Holy Rosary, the music room. And as someone who has the pleasure of sitting in this classroom, I can tell you that most of my musical appreciation happened here. I'm walking across the hall now to Miss Crummy's classroom. Let's we'll see what's happening in there. Miss Crummy, tell me what you strive to do with the kindergartners. Well, every day in kindergarten, I try to make it fun. And what do you enjoy most at, about teaching at Holy Rosary? Definitely, I love all the families. You know that Holy Rosary provides education from pre-K all the way through 8th grade, and many of our classmates spent a wonderful year in this room. Thank you, Mrs. Crummy. And it's back to you, Amy, and I understand you have a special guest with you at the anchor desk. That's right, Kaysen. I have the pleasure of sitting with our principal, Mrs. Kimber Halliburton. Welcome, Mrs. Halliburton. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. You've had a teaching and leadership experience in a number of schools around the state, as well as in Nashville. What have you found that makes Holy Rosary so special? We're the only private school in Nashville to receive the National Blue Ribbon Award twice and consecutively at that. I would say one of the, one of the things that makes me really proud is just the intentional kindness that our students show to one another and to new students and our loving and caring faculty. Thank you, Mrs. Halliburton. We are pleased to have you leading Holy Rosary and we're pleased to have you with us in the studio today. Amy, thank you so much for having me today. It's been my pleasure. WHRA is a unique part of our experience at Holy Rosary, located here in the library. WHRA is a student-run providing daily newscasts to the students and families of Holy Rosary and developing talent in broadcasts and broadcast productions among our students, many of whom are continuing those broadcast interests in high school and college. Kaysen, I understand you have a special interview as well. Do I ever, Amy. I'm in church with our pastor, Father Dan Steiner, whom families will find outside school at the start of every morning, greeting students and welcoming families to Holy Rosary. Father, you sure look happy. Thank you, Case, and I sure am. Uh, every day I get to come out and greet you guys always brings a smile to my face. And how does faith express itself at Holy Rosary? As you know, in many, many different ways. I think one of the greatest ways, obviously, is uh, the way we come together to worship God. And as you know, when you come into the school, uh, there's lots of beautiful crucifixes, lots of beautiful artwork to remind us of who God is and all these great things He has done for us. And our middle school students are doing exciting things too. Kaysen, can you show us some of the classroom experiments that our 6th through 8th graders are doing? Sure can, Amy. I'm here with several of our classmates who are performing a very special science experiment. We are dissecting an owl pellet. Right now we're just found, finding out what all of the bones are. I am taking all the fur out of the, the skull of, I'm pretty sure it was a, a shrew, but I'm not sure yet. The success of our students is demonstrated by the accomplishments of our graduates. One of them is our fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Kelly Neal. She spoke to WHRA about what Holy Roji means to her. What does it mean to be teaching at a school that you graduated from? It's amazing. I never thought I wanted to teach anywhere else. I thought this Holy Roji was home to me. So, Mrs. Neal, you have some very ex exciting technology in your classroom. How do you use it? I do. I have a clear touch panel in my classroom. It has 12 touches on it, so you can have eight students on it at a time, but it is a very popular thing in our classroom. Our first graders have the benefit of new interactive boards provided by a generous donor that heighten the learning experience, and we honor those graduates with our new salute, both outside and inside, as well as our, on our website. We invite you to read more about these accomplished individuals who started on their paths here at Holy Rosary. We're in another classroom where students can express themselves. Miss Wathen's classroom. Miss Wathen, how do you feel how art fits in with the rest of Holy Rosary's education? Well, doesn't art 
Doesn't everything else revolve around art? I mean, we do math, we do science. That's how I am, how I like it anyway. And what are your goals with all of the students? I want them all to try everything that we do. And that's why I'm here, is to help them see potential or help them find their potential. Kason, it's been quite a tour of this beautiful campus. Any final words for our guest? In every classroom, no matter the language, we are getting a great education. Thanks, Kason. You can believe this. Finding your way begins at Holy Rosary and always has. Thanks for watching today. For Kason, everyone at WHRA, and me, join us in saying, Let's go, Vikings! <laughs>